Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to a new episode of Russian Fishing 4. In this video, I will be sharing with you a hotspot for Bleak. Uh, we are at Winding Rivulet. Okay, so when you start out in town, what you want to do is go straight to somewhere over here. It's it's no one's it's not picky. It's not too picky. You can go over here, 7388, or yeah, I think this is the right spot. Okay, and what you want is uh, your your floater, your tally stick rod. Okay, you want a size 22 hook and you want blood worms. And you want to cast it anywhere that is not by the reeds. Uh, so you can cast it in the middle and let it float. And then recast it again, cast it over here somewhere and let it float again. And you will get over one fish a minute as you will see in this next segment guys i hope this is enough information for you to catch loads of uh, these fish and please guys if you like the video uh, please like it please subscribe to see more and comment below what you like what you don't like what other hotspots do you know of and there we go all right guys uh i'm back so this spot is super hot like holy moly i'm catching over maybe like a fish a minute and i just caught my first uh my first days i don't think i've ever caught a days before so we're catching bleaks like no tomorrow um and i I've already ended the video, but I might include this part before I end the video because uh, this is just way too good right now. Oh my god, 66. Yeah, so now you know. Um, Winding Rivulet, spot 7285, around this spot. It's very open. Uh, hook size is 22, the smallest you can get, and bloodworms. Um, at the time of recording, it's May 28th, so I don't know by the time you see this video, it'll, it'll be gone because uh, I'm, this video is far away is out. But wow, I need a spot this hot, like look at that, you know, like we're catching fish non-stop, even if it's not worth a lot, it's just fun. And I'm sure this fish is worth a bit. Um. Well, let's see how much experience we get, actually. I haven't even looked at that. <laughs> uh, float fishing, 49 experience. Not much. The monies is not going to be that great, but it's okay. Let's see how many fish we can catch. Heck, if this keeps going I might just make this a separate video oh that was a fail <laughs> I still have my spinner rod over there I should probably go collect it um, I was hoping to catch you know 300 gram or bigger perch so I can complete the order um, I thought it'd be easy it'd be quick just take a moderate amount of time then Oh wow, there we go. We we even saw that. That's a roach, isn't it? Yep. There we go. Let's see. Come on. Don't die out die out on me. Come on. 17 centimeters is the depth and it seems the spot suddenly quiet down oh wow we got it I thought it was too soon um, what I really want to know is how much these markers are worth we will head into town soon Right now, there's just too much action here for me to <laughs> leave. 
You know what? I'm gonna bring in my spinner. No reason for it to be out. Maybe they'll catch something. It'll be like a bonus fish for us. Caught like a what? A 2.7 kilo chub on this? This spot. Oh man, when it's active, it's amazing. There we go. Small fish. Bit of perch. Bit of perch. Ah, uh, it's a crappy little perch. We need over 300 grams. Because that's the cafe order. So unfortunately we won't have that. Did I get anything? Huh. 63 gram, that's the biggest one yet. Wow. I'm just pulling without even looking and we're getting it. That is just amazing. Keep looking, keep looking. This requires a lot more focus and attention and micromanagement than feeder and spinner. Uh, this is the worst type. <laughs> so, <clears throat> oh, 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 oh. There we go. Oh, wow. So many markers already. Uh, bleak. Oh, what? What kind of bleak is that? That's a different color bleak. That's like albino bleak. Oh, as they get bigger, they get more white. Wow. Look at that. Mm, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, we definitely need white bleak. Bleakosaurus. <laughs> um, it's really nice here, you know, you, you can hear the birds chirping. There's a little bit of wind. Distant wind. Uh, the water is calm, trees, shadows, sun. So it's very soothing spot. Compared to Old Burke, I don't know why. Old Burke uh, seems stressful. Maybe it's a big open place. And you hear gunshots in the distance sometimes. <laughs> that puts me on edge. <laughs> Maybe I'll get attacked by a bear. So, yeah, the spot's pretty good so far. If I come here tomorrow, will this work? I don't know. Oh, something is biting. I wasn't looking. Damn it. It's okay. It's okay. Let's keep trying here. Let us keep trying. I think we're furthering too far away from the bridge. Need to move a little bit here. Because our bites always come up somewhere here. We'll see where the bite hits us. And we'll move accordingly. Here we go. Oh wow, 90 grams. That's the biggest one yet. God damn. Come on, come on, come on. We need a world record. I think 138 or 139 or something like that. Actually, uh, it would be a trophy. Before we even get there. So... Didn't mean to do that. Oh yeah, if we get a trophy. Oh yes. Didn't even occur to me. I heard this. If it's this active, then we should be hoping for a trophy. We need to set our goals right. Just like the Gibble Carps. Uh, we knew we were at the right spot. We were getting amazing amounts of hits. And we got, what, two trophies. Uh, the previous video or the video before that. And the video before that, I got one trophy Gibble Carp. So um, that was pretty good. These are small so far, but hey, that 90, 90 gram one. 
Next thing you know, we're pulling out 130 or maybe even 200 gram one. That would be amazing. But uh, this is perfection, I think. You know, we're not getting rates too high where I just throw in and take out. And I'm not getting it too... Oh, we should have pulled. I mean, it's not too slow where it's like, yeah, am I... What's going on? Am I doing this right? So... Hmm, there we go. So you see at the bottom it says drifting with the current. When a fish bites on it, that goes away, which means pull. That's my assumption here. So, should have it there. Ah. Let's just throw it here. Why do we go all the way back there? I have a feeling it has to float for a little bit before it gets a bite. Oh my god. Oh, we missed it. Throw it here. Wow. That's the thing, like... Some spots, most of the spots, dead. Some spots... Decent, like that chub spot. And then dace, wow. And then rare spots like this and the gibble spot, amazing. Non stop action. So that's the issue with the game. It doesn't matter where you fish, uh, you should get fish regularly so it keeps you hooked in, keeps you entertained, you know? So, wow, our, there we go, <laughs> we've never gone this far without a fish, <laughs> 39, holy cow guys, okay, 24 minutes, all the way up till here, 13 minutes, after 13 minutes, look at the fish we've got, <laughs> insane, and there we go, Bleak, let's just throw it there. Oops, nope. No, this is a little close, but it's okay. Oh, the sack guy's thought. Gonna go. Let's go. Whoop, whoop, 43. Okay, that's close to our previous spot. Wow. I'm just amazed at how active this is. And it's super quick, like unlike a uh, bottom and uh, spinner, like we're not even reeling in. It takes us a second. It's still cl too close, but it's okay. That's, yeah. So. <laughs> oh no, I let it go before I could pull it up. Yeah, this is an amazing spot. Uh, let's see if we even get any money for, for these fish. Because <laughs> they weren't wor worth much, surprisingly. Uh, like the Chinese sleeper, if they're a decent size. If they're a marker, they're, they're worth a good amount. Roof as well. So as long as these are all marked, they should worth be worth good money. Uh, so <laughs> yep. Uh oh, don't. No, is it gonna run the whole line now? No, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> the only reason I knew there's a fish on it because at the bottom left it didn't say running with the current, drifting with the current. Hmm. I wonder if we went with like a 20 hook, would we get 
Maybe bigger ones? Oh, wow. That was just yanked. 29. See, now they're small, though. Small don't fetch much. But we have 41 fish already. <laughs> in like, what, 20 minutes? That's the best fishing I've ever done in this game. Uh, these 20 kilo ones are just annoying me now. We can farm here all day. Yes, folks, farm here all day. <laughs> I'll quickly show you my setup. This is it. 22 and blood worms. And that's it. On the floater. Oh, that's a nice size. That's a perch. Okay. You know what? That's fine. We haven't caught any other fish. So that's great. Oh. Oh, there we go. Oh. Ah, 20 gram. Come on. Come on. Give me a trophy. Give me a trophy, please. Please give me a trophy. Please. Oh. Bleak. Oh wow, we have like so little markers. Oh no, that's not good, guys. Someone taking our bait? There we go. Yeah, finally. Okay, another marker. Now I want to try a size 20 hook. We have a 22 right now. But... Yeah. Uh, I don't know how people will manage with two or three floaters. I should try, you know? Uh, but the thing is like once... As soon as you see your floater go down, you have to yank on it. I think that's the only way I've been successful. If you just leave it as is, it never ever catches a fish. Oh uh, no. It's okay. We'll throw it right here. Why do I keep throwing it back there? I don't know. I think by the time it comes here, it's already spent a little bit of time in the water, so... But then it's like, yeah, the bait is active. Go for it, fishies. Ooh, this might be nice sized. 69. Nice. Let's throw it right there. Splishy splashy isn't scaring the fish, which is great. And there we go, another one. Nice. Oh, yes, it's a marker. Uh, we need a trophy, though. 90 grams was the biggest. We need 100 or maybe 120. I don't know when the trophy weight is. <laughs> when the trophy weight starts. The range. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, baby, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, man. Well, that was our first time where it went the whole way and did not catch a fish. Uh, yep. Yeah. As a new player, if you are a new player, you already have the tally stick. Uh, the only thing you need to buy is the 22 size hook and blood worms. I don't know if blood worms are in the starting areas. I think they are. They should be. You can buy that. 
And by the looks of it, I don't think time of day matters for these bleak. Although I... My terrible memory, I do not remember if we were... Fishing during the evening, if I started the video during the evening, I'm not sure. But we are almost at 50 fish. And I think at 50 I'm gonna call it. I have been at this for a while. Um, so... Yes. Let this go, please, please, please. Please be a trophy. Please be a trophy. Oh, come on. Be a trophy. No. Oh, come on. Okay, we will, we have to pull one on this one, guys. Let's go. Fingers crossed. And, and, anything. Oh, there we go. And it's a marker bleak. I will take it. So this spot, once again, guys, is absolutely amazing. It's a hot spot. Uh, bleak. Do we have any bleaks? No? Uh, okay, let's go on bleak. Let's go by weight. Four. Four silver. Oh my god. This is a terrible payout, guys. <laughs> Not worth it. Uh, this is the last bleak. See, all these markers are worth something. But wow. The, the difference in size makes such a big difference here. Everything after the marker, absolutely worthless. 22 silver guys 22 silver in 13 minutes i kid you not this is the fastest way i think i've made money and it's the best hotspot i've seen so far the rest of the fish 16 silver pretty good there we go 588 silver already guys if you enjoy this please like the video if you want to see more please click the subscribe button and comment below what other hotspots do you know of that are active right now or any tips, tricks, anything. Uh, so until next time, guys, enjoy.